A new Alzheimer's drug will soon hit the market after gaining FDA approval today. Donanumab is meant to slow the rate of a brain's decline in the early stages of the disease. As part of our ongoing Illuminating Alzheimer's coverage, we've been following one local patient for over a year as she takes part in a clinical trial of an Alzheimer's drug. She doesn't know which drug it is, but she's still hopeful for a cure. And one local doctor tells me this treatment is a step in a positive direction. I'm not gonna stand by and wait till it catches me. I'm gonna put up a fight. One year later, Suri Velez still has that same mentality. I'm gonna fight. I have to fight. In the battle between Suri and the disease threatening to erase her memories, Suri feels she still has the upper hand. I have seen improvements. My girls have seen improvements. They've, they've mentioned, oh my God, you remembered that. Like, oh my God, I remember that. Just like last year, Suri is still driving weekly from her home in Key Largo to a clinic in Miami to get her medication. From door to door, it's 70 miles, one way. Diagnosed five years ago, she's part of an ongoing clinical trial of a drug to treat Alzheimer's disease, but she's part of a blind study, so she doesn't know what medication she's getting or if it's a placebo. The shots hurt, so I try not to think about it because I, I can make myself pass out of fear and I don't want to do that, so <laughs> I don't think about it. There are uh, over 160 clinical trials involving over 150 different medications that are currently being tested for Alzheimer's disease. Some are symptomatic, that means they're treating only the symptom of the disease, but a whole bunch of them are what we think will be disease-modifying medications. Dr. James Galvin is a professor of neurology at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. While this approval is welcome news, he says the new drug, which Eli Lilly will market as Kisunla, is not a cure. It provides some symptomatic benefit, so people progress slower, but because it's removing the amyloid protein, which we believe is the initial trigger for Alzheimer's disease, Denatumab will help modify the disease so people who get treated can eventually clear the amyloid from their brain. So a large proportion of the patients who were treated in the trial by 12 to 18 months had no evidence of amyloid in their brain. As with many medications, there are possible side effects, which could range from an allergic reaction to swelling and even hemorrhage or seizures. For Surrey, side effects are a risk she is willing to take. I'm just hopeful that it, we get a cure or, or even a prevention, just something out of it, because I don't want to be doing all this in vain, you know, but like I said, I don't think I am. I think, I think we're on the verge of something really great. This approval has been a long time coming, but last year the FDA asked the drug maker for more information before ultimately deciding the benefits outweigh the risks. Dr. Galvin stresses the rollout of this intravenous medication will take time, so it may not be available to all patients right away. And we've been digging into this topic for over a year now. Just last month, we aired our second Illuminating Alzheimer's special, highlighting the breakthroughs in research and treatment. You can watch it now on our website right on the homepage at cbsmiami.com.